Hi, I'm Steve Duffy, Yamaha Snowmobile Market Specialist, North American Snowmobile Division, and we have an exciting new 990HCC turbo engine designed by our Yamaha engineers in Japan to give you that legendary Yamaha durability, but the R1 YZ type performance for the trail. So there's several unique features to this engine, one being it's all new internal design with oil-cooled pistons, the turbocharger, we have our, auto, our boost valve to prevent turbo lag and bogging on re-acceleration, but the engine, the star of this is the whole engine package. It is brand new from the ground up, being a three-cylinder 988cc. So we have other four-strokes in our lineup, one being the 1049 three-cylinder, but our legendary Apex 998cc four-cylinder. So this is a three-cylinder 998cc. It's a very compact motor. Yes, it is very compact, very lightweight. So that is to get that, keep the weight of our snowmobile down, but giving it that ultra high performance. So the intake system is unique because we do not have a single throttle body. We have three throttle bodies. Normally in a turbo snowmobile, you would have one throttle body, but we have the three throttle bodies. Uh, so horsepower wise, what are we looking at? We're looking at 180 horsepower hot, which is currently the most powerful production snowmobile you can purchase. So 180 horsepower, uh, what kind of boost? Uh, I guess it depends on elevation and, and yes, whatnot. Yes, this turbocharger will, the way that the Yamaha engineering team has designed this snowmobile is with the Yamaha ECU and the nine sensors that we have, this snowmobile will give you the same power from sea level right to 10,000 feet. Yeah, intercooled. Yes, it has. This is a prototype version. This is a display, but the snowmobile is equipped with an air-to-air -air intercooler. Obviously, this isn't an MPI turbo setup. So, yes, we we this is a, a IHI turbo designed by the largest turbine company in the world, being Japanese. So Yamaha's engineering team worked with IHI to build us a special turbocharged piece application. And one thing that, if you look in here. IHI's turbo uses the Incon turbo vane, which is unique to it's a pat traded patent traded trademark patented by their company. So that's the that's what's good about this turbo is we went to the people who make turbocharged. Also it's oil fed and also liquid cooling fed. Okay. We also have a unique on the snowmobile we have a vapor tank. So what happens when you're going down the lake or you've been out riding your snowmobile very hard, the turbocharger is actually going to be hot. So when the customer shuts his turbo off, normally the, the turbo is very, very hot. Oil cokes up in there. Yes, so with our vapor tank, then the convection of the vapor tank will then bring the turbo tar charger's temperature down like the rest of the engine and the rest of the... Is it, so the convection of the turbo tank, so is it, is it circulating it? It'll start to circulate. Once the key is off and we've stopped oil flow and coolant yeah. flow, it now will give the customer longer durability of the turbo because it will cool it at the same rate as the engine. So the customer has nothing to worry about. They don't have to sit and idle for five minutes or anything. They can shut the key off. Journal bearing, ball bearing? It is a ceramic ball bearing turbo. Ceramic ball bearing turbo. Uh, yeah, wow. Um, is, this, is this engine used in any other application? This engine is purpose designed for the Sidewinder. It was purpose built design. and designed for a snowmobile application and using our legendary SRV chassis, we were able. This engine was put in there. For that. How many horsepower in the uh, the YXZ? The side by side yeah. vehicle. It's approximately 112 horsepower. This would be a good engine for that. <laughs> <laughs> this is a snowmobile. Just engine. saying. <laughs> Just saying. Wow, that's. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure this engine, being 998cc, has piqued the interest of the side by side I'm, vehicle. The, yeah, the, you yeah. know where I'm going with that. You yeah. know. You know. I'm sure that's that that motor is piquing the interest of a lot of people in a lot of different. When I look at that, it piques my interest. What's going to pique people's interest is once these snowmobiles get on the snow. I've personally ridden various models of Sidewinder, and it is it is that legendary Apex power, that smooth, linear power that we have, we're famous for in the Apex, but lots more of it. And it's very, you can ride it very, very slowly. You can ride it very, very aggressively. It's very linear power. And it's very, the snowmobile is surprisingly quiet. And I think that's a big plus, is that we're making very good horsepower, but a very low decibel output. Okay, now, uh, as far as making, I know you're not in the modification end of things. Is there a way to, there must be a way 
how would I how would I state this? At 180 horsepower, the way this motor is set up, you could probably end up putting more horsepower into this. The aftermarket companies are already on top of that. They know that they're working with a Yamaha engine, so they're already on top of that. And I think the possibilities uh, of increased horsepower, we'll let the aftermarket handle that, but they're yeah. very happy to well, have this engine platform because exactly. they know that it's a Yamaha, they know it's gonna be durable when they start to lean on it. The platform we'll let them there. handle that. They will, they'll they'll take care of the, exactly. our customers on under exactly. warranty. Now, is there a rollover protection, a rollover valve in this for the oiling and whatnot? It does have various sensors that will provide. The main thing with the rollover is, since we, we don't want to have the air box, but we have a, what's called an air cut valve, so if the snowmobile upsets, we do have systems that will prevent oil from filling the engine, and the engine will shut off. You, uh, with all fuel-injected snowmobiles or, or vehicles, you have a shut, the, once the vehicle's upset, you shut off the fuel pump. So we have that various things, we have various sensors and safety systems in place. But if the customer has an unfortunate incident, the snowmobile will protect itself. Same way we have detonation control. So if the customer is unfortunately, he gets poor quality fuel, the engine will then protect itself. The customer may not even know it. It will just start to reduce its, its performance to the point where they cannot damage the engine. Mm. Now, um, I, we, we, you, you said it's lighter than the other motors. Do you have any idea what, about the weight? of this new system compared to the old? Well, the engine itself is slightly lighter in weight, but now we balance it out by putting it with the turbocharger. So we basically ended up at the same point with our Viper I see. Uh, engine package. So our goal was to keep light weight, but we don't, with light weight, and you make something too light, you'll lose some durability. So the engineering team's goal was to maintain the approximate same weight. Of course, with the turbocharger, we're going to have a little more weight, but the increased performance definitely balances them. There's no, yeah, no doubt. You're getting the same package as the, as the, uh, as the Viper without the turbo. The Viper, you got to add a turbo to it really to get the kind of power, you know? Yes. So and we so can see where all this is going. Yes. But the nice it's thing- It's written on the wall. Again, with this package, with, when we designed from the ground up, with the nine sensors, our our engineers were able to give you that. It's, you, there's no compromise. When you modify your snowmobile, usually there's a compromise. Usually you have some kind of compromise. We don't have this with this package. We have that linear power right from the get-go. You know, if you add a performance package to your snowmobile, you might have to put up with some low-speed ridge running or or whatever the case may be. I'm not knocking after. I'm just saying. We, once people start to ride this, they'll understand that the same people that give you the R1, YZ, our new GP1800 R watercraft, that's the same people that are giving you this Sidewinder power. Very nice. Now, I think it's only, is there anything else you would like to tell me about this uh, monster? Well, another unique feature to our, we have, a, we have oil cool pistons. Okay. So that's unique to the snowmobiles. So oil is then sprayed to the bottom of the piston to keep the piston crown cooler and also provide extra lubrication. That's unique to this engine. Heavy duty rods, heavy duty pistons, proven valve train, but the big secret to this whole package is this blow off valve. Because if you have a high performance sprucid engine, you chop the throttle, the blow off valve prevents the backup installing of the turbocharger. Well, if you have a high performance aftermarket kit, normally they just vent it to the atmosphere. But in our case, our engineers design it into the intake tube, so we're missing some hoses here. But the thing is, if the customer is out and he chops the throttle, you know, something may jump out in front of him or he just yeah. hard braking for a corner. So you close the throttle plate, you're pushing air in, the air will back up and back up to your turbocharger. Well, our engineers have come up with a system that we don't push the air back to the turbo, therefore cause the turbo to bog. Or bog where when where does it go? It goes back in and pressurizes the turbo the to not stall the turbo, but also with our new fuel injection um, uh, new body. pressure regulator okay. on the throttle body, manifold pressure, we now don't dump excessive fuel. So we keep the fuel exactly what the engine wants. So those items were all designed into it. And with our tuned intake, so this is a very important, that because we have the three throttle bodies, which is unique to the turbo snowmobiles, we can now tune the length of this to give you that optimal performance and that crisp throttle response. Wow, very beautiful. We'll have to take a nice uh, tight look at this in here. Yeah, very neat. Okay, very nice. Well, Steve, thank you very much for your time.